All right, Derek Splunk, glad to be alongside my man Kemba Walker. Kemba, how are you feeling today, man? I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. I appreciate you taking the time. And you know, first and foremost, man, what does it mean to you being here at your camp, having the opportunity to give back to the community? It's cool, man. I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy putting on camps. You know, a lot. I mean, the kids are great. They ask good questions. You know, they they have fun. They love the fact that I'm around. And um, you know, it makes me happy. I, I love, I love that I can put joy. You know, these kids' hearts, so it's, it's really cool. And how special is that for you, man, just seeing how big of an impact you have on the lives of these youth? You no, know, it's it's really special. You know, it's, it's kind of surreal. Um, you know, growing up, I would never, I would, I would, I would have never thought that kids would look up to me the way these kids do, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's a really a humbling experience. Now to the basketball side of things, Cap. I know the offseason is in full, you know, full swing of things, but I know the grind never stops for you, man. You know, what is one particular area of your game you've been spending a little bit more time on to take your game to that next level? You know what, just shooting, mostly shooting, just trying to be more consistent, um, especially my three ball. You know, I just want to be way more consistent with that so no guys can't go on the screens all the time. Absolutely, man. And the Hornets had a busy offseason, man. They drafted very well. Also brought in uh, some key free agents, including your former backcourt teammate at UConn, Jeremy Lamb. You know, how, what are you looking forward to the most stepping on the floor with those guys? And what do you expect them to bring to the table? Um, I think with the guys that we added, you know, those guys have spaced the floor really well for me. Um, you know, I have a lot of space out there, you know, pick and rolls, and you know, those guys are going to have to respect my teammates because they can shoot the three ball really well, so it should be fun and exciting. And what can Hornets fans expect from the team for the 2015-2016 season? You know, we, we're going to give them all we got. You know, I don't want to say too much. Right. I think I said, we, I think we all said a little too much, you know, last season, and it, 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 it wasn't a great turnout, so you know what? They're just going to have to wait and see. The action speak for itself. My yeah. final question for you, Kemba. I know you're a music guy, man. We talked about this before. Some great albums have dropped recently. We got Meek Mill. Yeah, Jay Cole's a few months ago. Drake's. What, what are you bumping, man? What am I bumping? I'm a, I'm big, a big French Montana guy, man. Okay. I just, I represent all my, all my New York guys. So, I got you. You know, French Montana's my guy. You heard that Meek Mill album though? Philly's not too far. It. Oh yeah, and yeah, no, I heard it. I mean, Meek Mill is, is a great artist. So, I mean, his album is dope. His album is dope. Future as well too. Future is. He's a guy that no, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of. They got some stuff coming, man. But Derek's blowing the man that's going to take the Hornets to win. Come on. Now we in Dallas, we start praying to God. Close eyes. Been down, came from the bottom. 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 Now I'm up, love.